Hey everyone, hope you're all doing good. In this video, I'm going to tell you how can you do a quick interior design in with your iPad and a simple Apple Pencil. It will take you hardly an, an hour to create these conceptual mood boards and conceptual interiors. So let's get into it. If you're new to this channel, I'm an architect. My name is Silva. I create content related to architecture, interior, and sketching. Please support this channel and tell me in the comments what you think about my content. Thank you so much. So I created this full plan in Morfolio Trace. I'm going to make another video. How can you make a quick render for the Morfolio? Uh, but now in this video, I'm going to tell you how can you create these renders in procreate all these renders that are shown they all are created in the procreate uh the, everything it is very simple and easy quick you can do hardly in 30 minutes maximum so uh i've just imported this model image uh from rivet file i i'm going to do the interior of a spa room this is a very basic spa room it's a small size around uh, uh, th 2 meter by 3 meter size we have a, a wardrobe on the left side and we have a bed in the center which is going to be used for a treatment in the massage room so i have created some other options but i'm going to create a new option and show you how can you do that and create it once you have your model and everything i didn't scale anything right now because i have a basic furniture so i can you know i have an idea of the scale okay so in this wall i'm planning to have some shelf and here we are having a wardrobe it's an existing wardrobe so i'm going to change it on the right side we have this wall so i'm going to put something on that wall uh, basically I'm just trying to make a very minimalistic and very conceptual bit design this is the first option that I'm going to show to my client so I'm keeping it minimal okay I'm just I've just split this screen and I have same save sub images that I'm going to use um, in this render so what I'm doing I'm going to add a wardrobe doors that I like uh, so these are the drawers that I'm going to add it you're just going to select this picture it's automatically uh, select it and copied it and uh, I'm going to paste it on my procreate and you go to the setting it's allowed pasting now you have this door image in your procreate file okay so uh, the next thing that I'm going to do I'm going to just separate the door with the rest of the element so just let's do this I'm going to separate it and I'm going to just resize it and put it in the bottom store. Now the door is done. I'm going to move it to the next part. I will add a bed, spa bed in this room. I'm just going to select, hold it, then copy. And I'm going to in Procreate setting, paste, allow pasting. Here you have your bed. I'm going to resize it you see in this uh there might be an issue for you know the perspective and the angles but as it's the very conceptual uh render so i'm not really concerned about it and so one perspective view that i captured so it makes it very easy for me to do the thing so once the bed is placed now i'm going to add the other things i'm going to add something on this wall i am planning to add a uh um, oak wood strips on this wall because uh, we are having this theme i was shown, shown you in the reception so this is the image that i've saved i'm going to select it okay if you can't copy it you can just you know uh, copy it when it's zoom out and then paste it it's here now i'm going to adjust it on the back wall so it becomes it came it it went into the background and create a very you know classical look so this wall is done now i'm going to add a flooring to this render I have created some of the 
you know i have added the materials in the procreate library so i'm going to go to that library um i'm going to copy a oak flooring from this i have a layer separate layer for this flooring so i'm going to copy that layer and paste it in my interior spot So here I'm going to paste that image, here it is now, I'm going to distort it and arrange it accordingly to the perspective lines. Once the flooring is done, uh, I think one wall is left. On this wall, I have planned to add some uh, wooden panels, not a wooden panels, kind of in a French molding panels, uh, with the painting in the center panel and having a you know wall lights on the side panel. So I just got an image for the right concept. I'm going to add that image. The, this is the image that I'm planning to add on this wall. I'm just going to hold it, copy and paste in my Procreate file. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to uh, rotate it, uh, the flip this image, so I can have it according to this wall size. I'm going to resize it and delete all the negative areas so it perfectly fits on the side of wall. So okay, once that wall is done, I'm just going to touch up some areas. Um, it will be this this area will be done. The next, I'm going to add the shelf in the center wall that I've planned to add it. To make it more cozy look, I'm adding these shelves. I'm just going to tab and hold it. If copy, I'm going to copy and paste into my Procreate file. Okay, so this image, I just want this uh, the two shelves center in the middle. So I'm just going to keep that shelf and eliminate uh, the remaining areas.
so here it is this is the final image the final look of this uh, render as you can see it's a very easy and quick way to create a first draft of your interior presentations either your student want to show your uh, uh, for the crit or you are just uh, want to show this for your client this is very basic and easy way to create the interior renders um, uh, for a first draft without wasting so much time in the renders and doing so much stuff so once you have this image it's easy to like you know share and to render it later uh, let me tell me in comments what do you think about this and what do you want me what do you want to see next on my youtube channel uh, till then take care bye see see how easily we have uh, just transform a basic image into a very uh, detailed interior render this was the basic and i have also created a second option for this uh, render uh, so in this same procreate file you can have one or two options that he, that you can easily turn and do that uh, to showcase the different ideas to your client so you can do the render later this is the second idea that i created added some kind of a shelf and the wooden panel i've changed it so that you have the multiple option the same file so you can you know have a crit and uh, from your client or from your professor so later on you can transform them into a very high resolution renders so do let me know in the comments what you think about it and what you want to see next till then take care bye